Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and today we're going to have some herring. You know, anybody that watches our videos know that we're canfish freaks. We've been experimenting with some herring lately, because because usually we eat a lot of uh, we eat a lot of tuna, we eat a lot of uh, canned mackerel, we eat a ton of canned salmon. Canned fish is a great value. It's so healthy. There's lots of different ways you can use it. Camera Girl's gonna make a salad. And I'm just gonna make a crostini. And I've already got some bread toasted up for a crostini. And look how thin I slice that. Look how healthy I'm being. So for my crostini, I'm gonna use the smoked herring in canola oil. But this here is wild caught. So you know these fish were out partying and boom, next thing they know they're in a can. But let's open this up. Gotta be careful so I'm not wearing all this oil all over my lovely duds. Watch out camera girl. So when I pull this off there, Whoa! I might splatter a little bit of oil. All right, and this is basically like a lethal razor blade of death. Now this is the one that's packed in oil, and it just smells like smoked fish. Kind of smells nice if you like smoked fish. But I'm gonna get this out of the oil so I'm not making such a big mess. So I don't flip that can and be wearing all that oil. But I'm just gonna slice this right through the center, boom, so I have a couple of bigger pieces to put on my crostini. And the first thing I'm gonna do is put a little cream cheese on there. Cause I'm basically I'm making a, a little fancy pants, you know like a lox and bagel with cream cheese and smoked salmon. But I'm gonna do that with my smoked herring. Which is a little less expensive. It's a lot less expensive. But I'm gonna get some thinly sliced red onion, add a little bit of crunch, add a really nice flavor. And I'm gonna put some fancy pants mustard on there. Look how fancy that is. It's like pickled mustard seeds. It's gonna have a nice strong flavor, but it's also gonna add nice texture too. A different texture than you would get from a creamy mustard. A little bit of fresh dill. Fresh dill, cause that's how super duper fancy pants this is gonna be. What about some capers? Oh yeah. Yeah, look how fancy salty. that is. They're imported. They're from a different part of the world. <laughs> I could go around the corner and buy some capers from some guy off the street, but instead I had I got these imported. Now I'm gonna do the piece de resistance. Put a little bit of this smoked herring on top. Boom, and now it's the ultimate bourgeois fancy pants. Crostini, I guess as fancy a crostini as you can have with canned fish on it. You could put the dill on the top. Hmm? Dill on the top for some garnish or something. Make it look prettier? Yeah, sure. I like having the dill and the capers in there so they don't escape. That's you know? good thinking. I mean, this is a terrific little snack, man. And canned herring, it's, it has a great flavor. It's a nice strong flavor. It's super duper healthy, but it's not like repellent like sardines, you know? Or anchovies. Like I could go to a party and open this up and I'd be the life of the party. Eesh. Whereas if you go and open canned sardines at a party, you know, they're going to ask you to leave. That may not be why they ask you to leave, but... Alrighty, now Camera Girl is going to do a healthier, a healthier snack. You know, I realized when we were experimenting with these smoked herring that, hey, I'd gotten sort of bored with some salads. You know, you can try different dressings, different this and that. So, we realized that one way you can fish up a salad, I guess I wouldn't say beef up. Fish up, up. <laughs> yeah. I gotta, I gotta move back because when you open that, there's the yeah. danger of death and oil splatter or water splatter. In this this is water because that, that's one thing. These are water based. Water based. <laughs> all well, fish all, are water based. <laughs> yeah, all life is water based. <laughs> They're packed in water, but watch out for these lids. Yeah. Kindergarten. The lids of death. Somebody did what? like that to their pudding lid. Right. All right, so you're gonna make a salad uh, yeah. with your canned herring and you've got your your salad already kind of prepared. What are, you, what are you gonna put it on? So I just have a base salad here. I got some greens, I've got some celery for crunch, and then I've got some fresh dill. It's a little hard to see it right here, but if you've got fresh dill, it makes a big difference. Even if it comes in pieces, just sort of get it out, lay it on here. And my suggestion is, I'm gonna use cream cheese, but use some sort of cream. You could just put some lemon juice on here if you wanted to. You could use lemon juice, a little bit of fresh dill. I would say the, the red onion, just like Buck used, it really does add a little niceness to it. But 
I am going to put some cream cheese. I do love it. Any smoked fish with cream cheese, you know, it just tastes good. Is that going to spread on there? We yeah. got the whipped cream cheese, you know. If well, you were just trying this with the regular cream cheese, it might be a little more impossible. Yeah, so we're just going to add a little bit on top. Now the other thing that I like to add, where Buck used a really fancy pants mustard, I'm just going to put just a little bit of Dijon down the middle. Yeah. Just a little bit of a Well, dish. this is usually what we use. I usually, I just bought that fancy pants mustard. This is not date night because I'm using a good amount of red onion. Yeah. We are going to add some fresh dill. And then we're going to add capers. This is the one thing I'd say since the fish is already salty, this adds just a little more salt. If you want to add a little bit of juice, do it sparingly. Freshly cracked pepper, I think makes a big difference. So just another simple, quick way to use smoked herring. And again, it doesn't taste as strong as you might think. It's a little stronger than tuna, but it's got that smoked flavor, which how can you go wrong with that? All right, that's a big mouthful. You can handle it. I'm gonna do it anyway. I can hear the crunch, so you, you added quite a bit of onion in there, but that onion really helps. But that's also celery. Ah, and celery too. Mm -hmm. So that's smart. Yeah, because you really need something crunchy uh, with a canned fish, especially these thin pieces of herring. So it's really great on a crostini. It's fantastic. But if you do put it in a salad like this, you know, having some nice crunchy fresh onion, having some celery, you know, adding, or say even some bell pepper, some crunchy elements you definitely need. Unless you're one of those weirdos that your desserts, you don't like nuts. Ooh, like yeah. brownies without nuts. Ooh. Yeah. And when, when she says weirdo, if you don't like nuts, she didn't mean you. So what do you think? Would you want to eat herring salad or a herring crostini? How about if we split? Look at that. We have some of both. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm getting the shorter end of that stick. <gasps> so there you have it. Boom. There's a couple of super easy, quick uses for uh, canned herring. You know, whatever you want to do. But, uh, you know, don't be afraid of canned fish. Sounds so scrumptious. Canned <laughs> fish. Hey, what about if they have other ideas? If you have an idea about what to do with canned herring besides... You know, send it to your mother-in-law or sling it out the window. Kippers! Who doesn't like to say Kippers? Kippers.